oh, damn, you're going to be fun. <laughs> look, she's looking, she's paying attention. Wake up, you should sit in the front row. You can even have a seat right back there, Gina. See how this is going. Now, is this After conscious? 17. Conscious, fighting. I, um, I talked with her in January, like, I'm done. We tried therapy. Oh, yeah, you have to. We tried therapy. We went to, uh, to uh, what is it, Sedona, um, like counseling. And uh, I was tired. And I, I asked her, I'm not happy. I need to move on. And I've been involved with personal growth for nine years. I go to seminars uh, like coaching, leadership. I went to Europe. And um, it's just I was, we not that I was not finding myself. Anyway, uh, I, moved out to, I moved out last August. That's August, yeah. And uh, we, we got divorced in February. Just let them have both mics for a minute. This is going to take a while. <laughs> well, actually, we had a discussion December 2nd about how we were going to get divorced, with, a, with an attorney or without. Okay. And he had apparently planned well in advance for this conversation because he's like, there was a time, there was a date. Oh, wow. Um, no kids around. And By the way, how many kids do you have while two, we're adding to this conversation? Kids. How old are they? Seven and 14. Seven oh, wow. And 14. Two girls. Okay. Um, so we were having this meeting and, okay, with an attorney, this is what it would look like. Without an attorney, this is what it would look like. And we have a third option. And I'm like. I asked her, there's a third option. What's the third option? Well, I was like, there is no third option. If you're getting a oh. divorce, you're either using an attorney or you're not using an attorney. And so then he proceeded to suggest that we get back together, work it out. After a divorce? We no. Were, we, were, we were discussing how to finalize the divorce. Mm -hmm. oh. like, the, the, like, were we going to do this amicably with, without an attorney and save money? I or love makeovers. Gonna, They're always so enlightening. And, and, <laughs> or were we going to fight it out with an attorney and waste all this money? And uh, so he gave a third option. And this is, a, a, this is a, the story, quickly, briefly. I was dating at that time. I had a girlfriend at that time. I started dating in, in September. Uh, this is really good. <laughs> it was this is my first makeover. It was my man. weekend. My weekend. My weekend with with uh, Elena and Bella, my two girls. And Elena told me, uh, I asked her, "What do you want for for Christmas?" It's like a family. That really hit me like big time. And then she wrote me a letter in November. Like, I, I wanted to close everything, you know, cl close the cycle, everything. And it just, I felt something inside. It's like, uh, I'm going to give it the last try. So I asked her if she wanted to, to get back together. Dating, in the middle of the divorce. In the middle of the, yeah. And we, we planned. We said, okay, we're going to get back together, but we're going to get divorced. I have to sit down. This so we really went good. to the court <laughs> nicely, holding hands, and we got divorced. February 11. February 11. I wish I put that down. <laughs> this year. Yeah. This year. We, right. we have been dating. So I still like at my place. And, uh, she has so you have separate places? Separate places. And you're dating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're divorced with yeah, kids. With kids. Damn, that's yeah, good. <laughs> 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 you get like a little high five, I think. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So now what do we want to do? <laughs> uh, it's just after listening to you this morning, God, do no we want to get remarried or not for business purposes? Right. Yeah, because <laughs> let, let me tell you, I'm Woman moving after back. my own heart, right? <laughs> at the end, I love you, I, and I'm we moving can do back to the house in October. You are moving. Yeah, I'm moving back. Okay, that's yeah. like in a month. Yeah, yeah. Well, in um, what eight days? No, or no, fifteen days. And we're leaving to Las Vegas uh, Sunday for my birthday. You're leaving? What yeah, well. You're going to do a business trip. Business trip. Oh, no, business. Business. oh, no, that's illegal. No, <laughs> that's my funny story. I think I told you guys about my son. So when Logan uh, was in kindergarten, um, so he was five, and we went to Hawaii on a business trip, and he came back, and his teacher and his friends were, like, saying, so how was your vacation? Because that's the word. It's like, did I told you this story, right? He's like, he came home like really ticked off because he was sort of embarrassed. He's like, Mommy, put his little hands on his hips. 
Never forget his little five-year-old. What is a vacation? People tease me about it all day. <laughs> so in my funny little way, I said, some poor people do. We have business trips. He said, well, I told them it was a business, business trip, trips. but they didn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a challenge to raising these kids. Actually, Mike knows because you were around like, very closely at that time uh, in that same area. Okay, well, let's go through... P and L, and then we'll make a decision. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. So income. So you have separate incomes now. Have you always had separate yes. incomes? Yes. Mm. Well, I, well, so let's do Amy married, first. I so, became a stay-at-home mom. We lived in Mexico City for nine years. I'm, I'm from Mexico, and my business is in Mexico. Uh, we own private school in Mexico. We have three campuses. That's awesome. So that's that's what you're doing. Yeah. That's what I, plus other stuff here. I just started a new company, Medical Logistics. So your visa green card in... Yes because of you, right? Yes. And do you still have Mexican... Citizenship. Well, yeah, but you have trusts? Yes, every, corporations, yeah, everything's like in Mexico. Social security, everything. Okay, so what's cool is we've done a lot of business in Mexico. Yeah. A lot. I, I know. And I told her... I we told still her, own Cerritos Beach if anybody wants to buy it. Yeah. And, and when you have, you have your own company in Mexico, it's great. It's fantastic. All right, so we're going to go like this. So we'll start with you. So you, mom, for a while, and then now do you have your own company? I just started one in March. But is it a corporation? Not yet. So you're a sole prop? Yes. Oh, and I'm God. her partner. And you're what? The, the business partner. I'm the business partner. In the sole proprietor? Uh -huh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> just to be fair to Gina, the red ink's going to come out soon. <sighs> well, well we, just knew, we know it doesn't need to stay as a sole No, it can't. Yeah. Yeah. It was a financial and a... No, that's okay. Quickie. Got it. Quickie. And then, um, okay, so right now sole proprietor and you do a magazine? So how much money do you guys make in that? Um, 10000 We raise about 10000 per issue, but after expenses, we keep about 6000 So about six k net? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. okay. Quarterly. Quarterly. It's a quarterly magazine. So you make about 24000 a year? Mm -hmm. At the moment, after two issues. Okay. That's awesome. And then what else do you do for income? Front of you, and then we'll get child support. Child support, yes. Oops. God, you're good. <laughs> She's smart. You know, like, you should just be sitting here as the poster child of what you're not going to do. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is awesome. Right. So how much is child support? Twenty-eight fifty a month. Oh, good job, girl. <laughs> nice, son. <I'm> nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun and funny. Like, I still like, this is awesome. Because uh, it's so like something I would do. Um, any other income for you? Uh, about three to five hundred dollars from a networking direct marketing thing. Which one? Melaleuca. Okay. All right. And any like passive income over here from assets, like any investments that would be creating I have it? About fifty thousand in IRA over here. Uh huh. So this is Amy's side of the world. What kind of IRA? Uh, probably a bad one. A regular one. <laughs> Just whatever that thing is. Where is it held? Um, she doesn't know. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's, it's, a com it's CPR. It's a private company. And okay. so I know part of it's in trade PMI or PR. And I, don't, I couldn't tell you the other one. It's on the top of my head. <laughs> okay. And yeah. any other income for you? You. All your income. Then you're partnered in this. Yes. I'm and then you have... That. The Mexican schools. The, and are you well, a partner, Amy, in his no, schools? No. no, this is my family. Okay. I'm the general manager. Um, so you have three private schools? Three, yeah. Where three are they? Campuses. All Mexico City? But one in Mexico City, one in Pachuca. It's a close city, and the other in Tulancingo. It's just very close, two hours away. And what away are you from... doing a month on those? Excuse me? How much do you make a month? Uh, overall, like 10000 10, 10000 a month? A month. Is that equivalent? Dollars. Yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no pesos, no. Okay. <laughs> um, That's $500. Okay. And other income for you? Yes. I mean, you're, uh, you're part of that, so we won't yes. double count. Uh, and with my neighbor, I started six, six months ago a logistics company. And what Lux do you do? Lux Medical Logistics. Oh, here we go again. There's a lot of there's yeah, a theme in carriers. the carriers. Uh, we, we pick up samples from labs, well, from clinics and take them to the labs. So we hire Ubers. Uber drivers to do that, and now we're we you found a new a new private a, a new, yeah uh, pharmacies. We work with pharmacies. 
We, but you still need private drivers. Yes. That you own. No, uh, the drivers. Yeah, we they are uh, contractors. Well, Outs but here, here's where you're going to put them. Yeah, drivers. You're going to put them in their own entity because mm -hmm, they're mm -hmm. a liability. Yes. Do you know the best thing big pizza delivery companies do? They put all of their drivers, employees, and vehicles in its own entity away from the actual pizzeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and same with the cab companies. So you're going to start learning. Tomorrow morning's critical. You got to like we're going to go through this whole. Like, how do you separate assets and liabilities legitimately mm -hmm. and then put things in the right accounts? Okay, so what's the, how From much From that, uh, right now, I'm a partner. Uh, I make like uh, $1,200. A month? A month. Yeah, Free. You're just... Yeah. Uh, we were making the entire company last six months. We were making like $1,200. Right now, uh, we're making like almost $30,000. But you have a and lot of six, expenses. A lot of expenses, drivers, and set it up, and the system. Well, and even and, though Uber's handy, it's not your best. There's you, a lot of layers of money yes, that doesn't yes. have to be there. So right now cheaper. we're close to, to, to reach our goal. So we're, we're going to start making okay. money. Yeah. Any other, what do you have over here on assets? Uh, I mean, like, yeah. is there any money that's coming over yeah, here? Yeah, I got um, uh, life, insur is life insurance, is the investment. It's, 20, it's like 24, I got like 24,000. In what? Uh, it's an, like... Uh, Is it an annuity or insurance? It's, or? it's um, the one from Mass Mutual. Uh, it's a fund. Every month I get like, So how much do you get? Yeah, funds. I'm just going to put an insurance fund. Yeah, insurance okay, fund. And, then and I got another in Mexico. It's around 10000 Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll say that same. What about other income? Other income... Um, uh, I have a property, a house that I rented, and it's it's not a lot. It's just probably like what's it worth? The property like fifty thousand. Yeah. And do you owe anything on it? No. It's, it's and so how much rent do you get? Like. Uh, Is that in Mexico? It's in Mexico. It's like five, five hundred uh, dollars. Yeah. All right. A month. I'm doing this because some of you don't see this is how it works. Mm -hmm. Assets create income. Um, all right. What else we got? My house. The house. Yes. I like you said our house, my house. That was good. Correction. Well, we're, we're in the middle of refinancing it into my name. Yes. <laughs> okay. So Amy has a house. <laughs> and how much is it worth? Two seventy five. Two seventy five. Do you owe anything on it? One thirty. Okay. So you have some good equity there. Okay. What any other assets for you? You? Uh, are well, you renting right now outside of that? I'm, I'm, no, my dad owns a, ha a house so here? Um, here in the States. Yeah, that's an investment. So you he bought a house, yeah. But I'm paying the mortgage. Okay. Yeah, so. So is that here on your expense side? Yeah, that's why. So I, how much of this? Because you guys make good income. But how much yeah, but I, I, it's not enough. Because <laughs> you're spending it all? Because, no, I'm giving child support, almost three grand. <laughs> the mortgage. You know, gymnastics, uh, dentist, and it's like, oh, wow, I make all this money, and that's why I started the You chose the new this, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I chose it. Okay, yeah, I know. So, just so you know, if you're clearly <laughs> in personal development, you're responsible. So, all right, so we're, where are you on this? Um, expenses. You probably have access money in the bank, don't you? I right now don't have a lot in the bank because I was a stay-at-home mom for so long. So I just actually went back into the workforce. So this is all ago. new. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. which is why, because you're making the money that's happening. Okay, we get it. Yeah. All right, it's fairly done though. You have the Mexico property, right? Got yes, it. the Mexican property. Yeah. I like you're coming up to add in. Yeah. See, Gina, this is how it could happen, very consciously. I love how Nice over here is coaching her. I hear you two talking over there. Um, so, what do you want to put for expenses? Uh, kind of all of it. Oh. Yeah, we don't need it. It's complicated. So it's, ideally, it's this is how you expenses. do it. You do it on spreadsheets. I mean, this is how this all really works out. But well, right for now. me, it's just I was checking numbers. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, one of my biggest now? issues is that uh, when we moved from Mexico five years ago, I was making pretty good money, and that's why we decided, oh, let's go to the States. Actually, it's more expensive to live in Mexico City than here. Really? Yes. Living down there is it's, it's, it's well, good quality of living. And... Uh, now with the peso, the peso collapsed three years ago, so I was making let's see, ten thousand. Right now it's half of it here. 
and then with the divorce and all that stuff, that's why it's like I need to produce. Like my business is very steady. The school is like you have uh, every September you got enrollment, very nice, and that's it. You know, it's, it's not like uh, I'm gonna sell a, another product yeah. or get another student. It's not like that. You so could get a few. A few, but it's not. It's okay, not so big. are we just gonna say it's kind of net zero? And for me too. <laughs> it's just an easy way to put, it's just not even worth all the math, right? Okay, so make good money what we're spending, right? Typical, this is also a different a typical, pattern, yeah. right? Typical pattern, you make it, spend it, make it, spend it. We're okay on assets, you don't have a lot though. The house is your best asset. Um, what else do you have? So no entities at all between the two of you? How many Mexican corporations do you have? We got uh, three. Each school, well, we got the brand, the, the brand is Colegio Anahuac, but we have different, for tax purposes. And we then have do you have trust too? Yes, we got trust. And how's your family legacy work all going to Mexico? Uh, you all get along or is it gonna be? Oh, surprised? great, my family's great. My dad is the, the president and I'm the general manager. My brother, he's in the States, he's involved with other stuff. And my mom, she's just, you know, give us love, and that's it. <laughs> so basically, what they run, we, my dad and I, we run the, the business. Okay, so this is all Mexican, which you're going to yes. keep there, yes. and legacy yes. that also yes. to the girls. Are the girls dual citizen? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, Elena, not legally, but Bella, Bella yeah. We have okay. to do the paperwork, but yeah, okay. eventually. Well, because when this passes, if you want to keep them both in the same status, because then they yes. can take it without the taxation yes. back to the United States. Um, okay. Wow, I'm reading now. <laughs> is there, so what other debt do you have? We didn't quite go there. Is it, do you have any other assets to add? Well, uh, yes, I have, uh, my dad owns a ranch, a cattle ranch, but it's, it's in my, 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 my brother's, it's half is my brother's, half is mine. What do you think it's worth? In dollars, probably half a million dollars. Okay. Yeah. But that'll stay in transfer mm -hmm. to family in Mexico. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, and what do you have for liabilities? Do you have credit card debt, cars? Um, so I'm in the middle of a refinance, unless we determine that needs to change today. Um, so my debt that I want to pay off, the bad debt's 24000 Okay. Oh, so you're going to refi out the debt. And also, we're in an international loan, so we're, the other part of the refinance was to get out of the adjustable Okay. Interest, yeah. And lower the payment. Which is included in that? Yes. Okay. And do you have any other debt? My personal credit cards, yeah. We got a lot of debt in Mexico, but good debt. But good debt. It's good debt, yes, yes for the, the companies, that. yes. Anything else we need to know about? Mm, no. Entities? So. We don't have any in the U.S.? Mm -mm. Just a DBA. Just a, right, so this is 911. Do you have a trust in the U.S.? No. Mm. Okay, got to have that, or Texas is going to get everything you just did. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't go this far to give it to Texas. And then what about insurance? Do you have insurance in Mexico? And here. And here, do you have insurance? Life insurance, You yes. both do? Yes. yes. Term yes. or like universal, whole Term. life? Uh, whole, the good one. Okay, does it, the good one, the life one. How life much, one, yeah. How much do you each have? You have half a million? Uh, almost half a million. I have a quarter. Okay. So I'll use a different pen. So you have yeah. 750000 in life. And, and also I have a trust for the girls for college. For oh, so each you do have a trust? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. It's uh, each one when they turn 18. This is in Mexico. It's going to be oh, 50000 50, 50, so, But that's here? Yeah, that's there, yeah. Each All right. Girl, yeah. So in the U.S., U.S. is red. Mm -hmm. Things you got to do. You got to get an entity and a trust. I would have this reviewed mm -hmm. for what you have, especially what you have in Mexico. You may want to cover up a hell of a lot of money here in that trust here in the United States, mm -hmm. right? Um, and you don't really want really to bring those assets back. A lot of families cash out in other countries and think they're coming here for safety, and it's not. Mm -hmm. It's the other way around at this moment. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, what else do we need to know? <laughs> uh, no, that's it. Twelve. Yeah, I just want to say what are they are. We need like 16. Okay, but now go to where you want. The magazine is just two. Two is employees. What? The magazine. 
Yes. Where, where did you have a little side conversation? What did you say? Employees. Employees? Two employees? Well, there's three. It's three partners. So it's myself, Marco, and then we have a third partner, Christine. Okay, let's do the green for growth. Okay. What do you want? So we've seen. Amy it, first. <laughs> so as far as the magazine goes, we've. Um, what is the magazine, by the way? It's a community based magazine. So basically, we live in a master planned community with um, probably about 12,000 residents. It's become so big that it's actually it's, its own town now. We've got a mayor and a town hall and all that. And so we've lived Where in is it? Providence Village. North. Okay. North 40 minutes about 45 north. minutes north. Interesting. Um, so By the <laughs> I have a background in marketing and journalism. And I worked at a newspaper for a while and met someone who's our other partner. And we were working on another project with another person that did not know what they were doing that wanted to produce a magazine. We abandoned that project and did what we thought would work based on our experience. Um, so we did our DBA March 1st. We put out two magazines. So it's community-based. So it serves all the needs of that one community. HOAs, schools, utilities, um, what's going on, events. So how, do you, how, is that, how is this magazine owned? What should the entity be? So Just we go here. This is Amy, and who's your? You have a partner, Marco and Christine. So we're Mac. But who's Christine? Mac you? Publishing. We're Mac Publishing. There's three of us: Marco, Amy, and Christine. But so you're like doing this as a DBA. At the moment, just to get to get started. See, That's why we need help. I'd be, we need, yeah. I would we need be, help. <laughs> so this is where some of you realize. Well, I'll get to it. Right. Well, so if ours Chris, was a financial thing, because looking at a partnership with three people was more than what we had when we started. What does she have? Nothing. She has absolutely nothing. Exactly. So you're the golden ticket. And you'll say, that'll never happen. So it happens all the time. So the and I'm not just picking on you, right? Whenever you get to volunteer to do this up here, your lessons for the room, you just can't. these, Because now, like, what to, what's her benefit? Is it K or C? C. Um, her benefit is all your assets. And you guys got to think, people say, well, I won't do that. Do you know how many contingency lawyers are around that will take this stuff on all the time? The biggest thing about having a partnership like this is even if, you know, she lives in a different state, she gets into a, a car accident, the partnership relationship applies in that scenario. So you would also be liable. All of these assets and everything would all be added into the partnership in addition of, of to whatever she... Accident. Yes, of her car accident. Yeah. Same thing with you. Is, is you guys get into an accident, same thing happens with her assets. So we need to create that distinct separation by putting that entity, that LLC, Today. specifically in place. Today. Yeah. Well, and so Today. yesterday. Where's Christine? Can March she sign? First. March. <laughs> Last March first. <laughs> right. By recollection, we recall it started March first. Right. Those of you who've been around, that, the only reason Don's laughing is he understands the law, and you understand that's how this works because you can't backdate. You can't. Right, you signed today, but what you recall is this entire relationship started then. And this man and his master skills, I don't know how many, God, how many documents you've done for my life. <laughs> the untold story. Hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> yeah, this is critical. This is like a 911 beyond a 911. So, so because we just don't, I mean, it's not that she's bad. Car accidents, that's a great, actually better example. Car accidents can happen, and this is a 911 to get this. So is it a 50-50, or is it a third, third, third? It's 35, 35, 30. 35? Uh-huh. 30. 35. And who gets to vote? Everybody. The three, like if we make a decision, mm -hmm. the three of us. Okay, that's good. So it's one of the things that's also... If I was her, because I do this little 360 thing, if she was standing over there as a client, I'd say we need to fix voting, because you obviously, as a married, divorced family, <laughs> you have control over her. Right. So if I was on her side of the conversation, I would say we, need to ship, we should talk about voting, which there's ways to do that. And what you do, just so you get the learning of the room, is you say, what are the things that we need three votes, and what are the things that only need two votes? Right, and that way she feels like she has more of a voice in what she needs to do. So the other thing we need help with in setting it up, and what, another reason it's been delayed is, so we modeled, set this magazine up to where it can be duplicated for any other community that wants it. Oh, which, so you can franchise, which license. Which we've been approached for already. Um, so in our head. I love it. 
the way we set it up is Mac is the publishing company, and then each magazine would possibly, I guess, be its own entity. Look at Nancy back there. She's going, I'm doing this. That woman knows Dallas, right? This is like perfect. So Love that's it. the other thing we need, need to be educated on is yeah, the, the, the correct way to And it would be that. licensing. I'll just cut through all the learning. I could, set, I could send you out for hours of franchise learning. It's licensing. You want to license. You do not want to franchise this. Okay. Yeah. The well, costs to do it are way too expensive for, like maybe in two or three years, you want to look at it that way. But right now, you have a lot of flexibility in licensing and franchising. It's really rigorous and it's really expensive. So it's not the way to start until you have. In fact, What's we. The licensing, licensing, you have all control. All control. You have yeah. all control. Yeah, what does Trump ability. do? He licenses his name. Like all those developments that are the Trump Towers, Trump doesn't own them. Oh. For $25,000, a developer bought his name license his name. So whether they screw up the development or not, which hurts him a little bit, because we were in the Riviera Nairit, we built all that land, 168 home development around there, and Trump Towers went down because the developers screwed it up. But he got the heat because nobody really knows about it. But that's actually the, the project that exposed his licensing arrangements. Yeah, because I, I want to talk with... Actually, I'm sorry, it's 25 million. I want to talk with my partner because I f we found here in DFW the, the pharmacies to deliver the medication. Just think about a big city in the United States. They don't have that. Well, they, they, they carry, uh, they, uh, they pay a lot of money. So, you so we were also, thinking about, like, I don't know, licensing. So for you, there's a whole logistics. A logistics, yes. But that's a different business. How is that structured? Uh, um, it's LLC. Oh, so you do have an LLC. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm, the, I'm the partner. But my, uh, we are three partners. But one of them, he has the, the majority of the, of the stocks. Okay, but this is an LLC. LLC, yes. But same thing. It sounds like your magazine and your logistics can be licensed. Mm -hmm. So you have huge growth. Mm -hmm. So are That's we going to all get back together and do this? That's the idea. Yes. <laughs> I know you're wanting a little advice on whether you stay married or not. <laughs> yes, she was. Financial reasons. Today, I'd say no, honestly. I'd say get through this tax year for sure. I think so financially about it. Ask my husband. It drives him crazy. What do you guys or say? Should we get married in Mexico, the way you got married in Canada? And then you don't register into the United States? I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you what I did. <laughs> yeah. With a prenup, because all the assets of the family. <laughs> Well, because all those are considerations. That's probably what we do on today's makeover this minute. But, like, I would, I don't know, what would you guys, the pros of staying this way is you get to borrow each other's, right? Well, I guess there's only one IRA here at this moment, but you get to borrow money differently. You can be in relationship differently because you're individuals. Mm -hmm. Once you're together, you actually collapse a lot of rights that you don't get back. That's pros and cons. Because of the fact that you have so many employees, you know, it would affect basically what type of account that that, I mean, not saying do or do not, but it would affect what type of account you can set up. Um, one of the things that's really important, though, too, when it comes down to the way the IRS looks at retirement accounts is that as a control group. So if we're married, that's a control group. It's not going to be looked at as individually because you could potentially actually open up your own solo 401k and then you can open up a different type of qualified account that would be more advantageous because of the fact you have the, the 12 employees. But if you guys get married, that would restrict. Well, she's only got three. Who has 12? Uh, he has uh, in the drivers. Oh, just... Yeah. And they're employees? 12. And they're employees? No, no they're, contractors. they're contractors. Oh, they're contractors. Oh, okay. Okay, so that. But do you okay, tell them when they have help. to work? Three partners and one employee. Three partners right, but right you're now, 12 you drivers. I want to go off. back to the contract rules. Are they contractors or employees? Contractors. Well, I know on paper, but really, do they have to come to work on time and do all sorts of things? Uh, they don't have a flexible that, schedule. It's, that's what we're, we need to yeah. check with the lawyer. And well, they're they're to, no, you're going to check with the, our lawyer. <clears throat> Yeah, they're starting to challenge the independent contractor status unless the individual actually has their a own company. company that then becomes a contractual relationship so that it, that defines independent contractor. But if you can tell them, well, you've got to be here between these hours and this is how you have to act, that's, that's and I mean, yeah. 
that's where it starts encroaching on employee status versus independent contractors. So. Well, if they have their own company, then they can do it. Correct. So most of your guys probably won't have their own company. So this is a workaround, very legal workaround, where you have one LLC and all the drivers are employed inside of that. Then that kind of handles it, but it keeps it away from this core company. Are you guys learning anything? Yeah. Interesting, huh? Um, so we'll decide the, what, here's the other thing too from a tax perspective, which our lead tax guy is not here, but since you were just married, I mean, just divorced this year, this is 19. Mm -hmm. And are, were you planning to file separate taxes then this year? Like as far as 2019, it gets a little tangled up. Yeah, I don't know. Be interesting case study. <laughs> married and divorced all back in the same year. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that we'll get married by the end of this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so either. No, let's not do that. <laughs> All right. So, ooh, you guys are a project. Okay. What else do you want? So, what do you want to do, Marcus, with this? If you could say, I want this in a year, two years, three years, I'd what do you want this logistics company to become? In a year to be to make a million dollars. On the logistics company. Logistics that's company. easy. I'd say that's a light goal, but that's only 84000 a month. Uh, right now, it's 30000 a month. So how about we do two year, two million? Two million. Yeah. Okay, and what do you want to do with the magazine in a year? Um, you don't know, that's like a huge. Have you even done a business plan on how big this could be? We've been looking at it. Um, I'd like a hundred thousand. To, we're, we're. You mean net to you or the company? What's the company gross on this? The, so the twenty four is what we're. What grossing. you bring home? No, no, that's as a company. Oh. So and each, how much do you make? You said thirty. Well, I mean, it, and it's hard. It's growing. Each magazine is growing, so it's hard. Yeah, but you're gonna have spread out. You're gonna spread that cost out over time as you grow. So we're also expanding into media, where we do printing and mailings for our customers. Okay, and yeah, but do you have any gotten the sponsor world of getting sponsors for all this? Oh, we have lots of sponsors yeah, and paid sponsors. That's yeah. why you get your thirty grand. That right. That sponsors you provide our content and they. How long, how many months has it been since you did that? We started March 1st and put out our first magazine in June and our second one in August. And our next yeah. one's coming out in November. You like that number better? That's easy. I'd almost go a million, but I don't know how you guys want to roll. I can roll at a million. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to go for a million dollar company. You'll go for two. We're going to set up very different companies. There will be a company between you. Should we go for like what we would do if they stay divorced? How damn cool it would be. We have one more little thing that we Oh, do. wait, one more thing. Got yes. another crumb. So might as, not be crumb. as an extension of the schools in Mexico, we offer um, online Spanish classes here in the States with our instructors from awesome. Mexico. That's awesome. And now our daughter is taking classes that way. So where's that in this? Is that part of an extension here? The magazine. It will, well, it will be a combination from the it, magazine it's and its the it's schools. A, well, but it'll yeah. be its own thing. Its uh, own thing, yes. So there's another. We've, it's kind of a, this idea that we've just started and we're working with, like, we've got a friend that's putting her sons through it kind of for us to do a pilot test. So what would you call that? It's called the Spanish portal. The Spanish portal. Well, for me, it's really important that my daughter uh, speaks Spanish, continue to speak Spanish, because we moved when she was two and a half years old. So with me, they just speak Spanish. And uh, but she needs help. So one of my teachers in Mexico, uh, they connect uh, every Monday and and Wednesday for one hour, and she start uh, they start talking in in Spanish awesome. and teaching with very very fun stuff, you know, songs and stuff like that. So it's like, oh, why we can teach that in here in the in the states? Do you own SpanishPortal.com? Yeah. SpanishPortal.com. SpanishPortal.com. Yeah. Awesome. Get it in calm, just calm. Well, it was multiple, a lot, a lot of money. Then get a spin-off of it. So like the Spanish or a Spanish or our Spanish or ask yeah. Spanish. Yeah. EDU is cheaper, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we dot have, com we have, is Google. We have you dot want com. SEO, yeah. you mm -hmm. want SEO, you're going to have to have a dot com. Okay. You're going to mm -hmm. have to. 
worldwide. I mean, we have clients all over the world mm -hmm. who have .AUs, and we have .AUs. We have .AUs, we have .UKs, we have .SAs for South Africa, and mm -hmm. nothing. Those, I mean, you have, to, you have to know exactly how to search it or they don't come up. Google searches, all SEOs on .coms, unfortunately, or fortunately. Okay. And I have one more thing. And then one more thing. Um, so I'm a notary, and so I am trying to build a mobile notary business and have notaries that work under me to go do mobile closings. That's really good. Another thing. It's called Seals See, on look Wheels. See, my real estate girls back there. You should all be excited like yes. about that. CFW. What? Seals on Wheels DFW. Seals on Wheels. That's really good. Do you have that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have the URL? Yeah. Oh, dang. You're, see, look at that. She so just needed a little break to get creative. Yeah, we need coaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely need these coaching. these ideas, but, you know. <laughs> Deals on wheels, CFW. And has that made any money yet? No, I, I haven't done, I haven't uh, pursued it heavily. So this is, so, okay, so coaching-wise, which one do you want more? Do you want the magazine to grow to a million, or do you want this to you can't do, you can't do both. So what you're going to need to find is a partner probably here who I'd can like to run. get that going and then have my team of people that actually go do that. You're going to need an operator, like somebody, right, that can help organize that. Because if you, if you distract, you're going to pull from here because right. you're probably the one moving Which that. Which is why I haven't gotten heavily into that. In that, yeah. Right. But just so we know there's a growth. You can have it all. Different than Eugenia, you can't yet. Um, but you can. <laughs> Like, you guys can have all four because you've got two that have a lot of runway, right? So this is team, potential investment dollars. So you could look at totally different thing, right? Nancy, is Nancy even back there anymore? Justin, take her away. Right? This, this could be a capital raising project where you could raise some money and then really grow this, which would give you the freedom then to do something different. Actually, all of these could have cap. That, that wouldn't need as much capital, but these three could all have capital to grow very quickly. And then those numbers are too low. Yeah. But you gotta be ready to run. Yeah. I'm are you guys ready to run? <laughs> okay, so this is what you want on income. What about assets? I mean, for, cause how old are you two? 47. 45. Okay. Well, I'll be 46 <laughs> next week. Next week. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, Lord, you can't, I can't go 50. Um, yeah, so all that being said, you have a lot of assets in Mexico, and you spent time in Mexico, so, and we got to start growing some other assets, right? So this all has to move, self-direct, so, right? We've got to figure out what the heck this is. If they're in Mexico, though, that's mm -hmm. different. We mm -hmm. do have a really good Mexican team down there, mm -hmm. right, from accountants, cross-border oh, accountants. Oh, yeah, and uh, my Whereas team. I'm sure you have some, too. My team and They need to start talking to your U.S. on behalf of the whole. Because mm -hmm. what, what happens when the whole team in the world doesn't talk is the Mexican team's gonna not acknowledge or recognize the U.S. team, and then you better know what the hell you're doing if it's him. How are you gonna go? How do you how do you go through this? Yeah. So just get at least a few of the team members talking to each other, knowing this is what we did in Mexico. This is why we did it, and they actually know each other. So upon a death, upon anything, it's not you going, oh shit, now what do I do? Or worst case, something happens to you two, and then these girls got to negotiate it, and they have no idea yet, and they're too young. She's getting there, though. She should come to the table mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. She needs to come along and start yeah. learning all this. This is fun. So what do you want to grow on the asset side? Like right now, you're kind of a wide open canvas because we're not going to do anything with the ranch. There's a little bit here. I mean, they're not doing anything with that. So you really have 100 in a house and 50. So mm -hmm. you have some credit card debt. So that can all get sorted out. But if you had and as you grow, what are you buying? Let's just put a little wish list up. Real estate. Okay. I'm going to put notes with it, and we'll talk more about notes. Notes are no tenants. They're just a payment, and you own, the, you own first deed title. You want first deed. And what else do you want? Do you want some wastewater? Do you want some gas and oil? Do you want some hemp? Well, do you I think want uh, um, gas, it's gas and oil, yeah, still. OK. Cryptocurrency. Do you have any crypto now? No. 
Here's the easiest thing, and we're asked about it every day, and we're in a little divergence of you heard Justin's story of people, because if you think the CBD space is rocky, you should see the, this crypto space, right? And so we're still testing out what we're going to do and how we're going to do it and looking and learning. But the one thing you all should at least get, that kind of is the basis that everyone says, you should at least get like a... Uh, at least a Bitcoin wallet, like a, you should get a basic coin wallet, Binance wallet, BitShare wallet, just get some basic wallets. And all you have to do is buy on a credit card for like two, three hundred bucks. Just open the wallet so you're ready to do something. No, but coins, coins are traded differently on different wallets. BitShares is the widest wallet uh, with the widest variety of coins to trade. Okay, so I'll talk more about coin tomorrow and I'll show you. And it's not hard to open one, but you all should get something because things are going to move that way. And again, you're not going to be ready to receive anything. And like when I, you know, you're going to get paid that way soon, sooner than you all think. Okay, so what else do you want? That's a good start. What about the girls? We need Roth IRAs. Do we have anything for the girls set up besides the trust? Just like a basic life insurance. Okay, so the girls will get Roths. Yeah, lots to do. Okay, so let's sequence it. What else would you guys say? I would still open up some CSA accounts for the girls, too. Um, because you have the, the 50000 that would be in the trust for mm -hmm. team. But if you're looking to do any type of private school now, as you're growing up... You, you have to grab it. a mic. Oh, sorry. Um, so I would still open up CSA accounts as well as the Roth IRAs because, I mean, you guys are really focused on education. Mm -hmm. you keep talking about that a lot. So that is definitely a way that you can lower that cost because that's not just for 18 in college. I mean, that could be for private school, for any qualified education cost, in addition to what you already have set up for the trust. Okay. So that Anything would be else? Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Str sequence. Right. I don't have another color. We go another. I'll go back to black. What would you guys say? Number one, because you got a partner. Um, this one, it would be like number one A is look at the operating agreement mm -hmm. and what you have with your current partner. Because here's the thing: the minute these things start making this kind of money, these people become you all become different. Everyone. So don't just say about the you know money makes them different. Makes everybody different. So before this runs too big, let's make sure we're clear. Make sure you're clear. Right? Um, this one isn't probably, ur well, this is urgent. This is a huge cost to you. So we got to decide that. So this could be around number 1B. So this whole entity thing is your first thing. Right? Then I'll talk to you about this and get you the best licensing lawyer in the world. But we'll talk about it before you lawyer up so you don't have to spend a bunch of money. And then you got to go over there, number two. Where are we going to put the Ross? Number two here, and then I would transfer this. That's part of like two way. Yeah. And what else would you guys do? Those, and then you got to get a trust. God, I'd almost have to say that's like one with the star, because if anything happens to you guys, everything you've built is going to the state of Texas, and it really tangles up your Mexican assets. It's a pain in the ass. So actually, I put that, and Scott can help you with that. Take you to Kevin, who's our lead trust. So do that, do that, the IRAs, and then let's just work on business plans. Here's, the, here's how you make this decision, is you meet with really the tax counsel. Uh, the, the tax piece of this will have more to do with uh, your decision if you're really looking at it from money. But if you look at it from love, that's different, right? In family, that's different, right? I think it's going to be important just the fact that you shifted because the, your kids want a family. It's going to be important for them to see that probably together again. Is it this year, like you said? We believe that it's important. It's not a paper. It's a paper. It's paper. Okay, it's good. Paper as long, they want the energy of the family. Yeah, yeah, right. That's, right. That's everybody together. Under yeah, one they want everybody together. Yeah. Right. So I, mean, I never changed my name to begin with, so we've never fully been the Herrera family. Yeah, so we'll work on that, and we'll work on that. The biggest thing, as these make money, you've got to start pouring money over here. So you got to get this fixed. Okay? What questions do you have? Start. <laughs> yeah. you gonna, start. You're going to join the big table. Maybe. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Okay, well, good luck. Do it yourself. Well, well, I don't know. Teasing. Do we get to work with you? I'm teasing. Um, so that's actually, when you're complex like this, actually I didn't say it's just complex. Yes, you do. So the way you start is you start, and then we start talking. 
we start getting Mike, the other side of Scott, to start putting some of the stuff in a spreadsheet. I would probably encourage you for these ones to hire Eric, who's our business plan king. He could probably do them, I don't know, maybe 2,500 bucks. We're getting Eric to the other side, though, because Eric's like, he takes little bits of equity every once in a while. I gave him equity in our cannabis stuff because I needed him. I have, after $80,000 of business plans, I said, would you just take a few points and stop charging me? Um, <laughs> well, and I needed his brain. So we would start. But while we start, you work with those two, and you get to Weldon, our tax guy, and Kevin, our lawyer, and then we begin. And so there's a lot of assessing. Um, but this is critical, because if you don't get these entities, then you're going to head into the end of the year without a lot of deductions. So you get to go back to the beginning of the year and take all of your life and all of this fund as deductions. Right? And if you don't do it by the end of the year, then this is going to be a messy tax return and not a, not a prominent one, because you've lived separately. So do you have an office? Yes. For the logistics you do? Yes. Operation, yeah. And you're renting from your dad's house? I'm renting from my dad's house. Well, I don't really pay the mortgage. Price. You know where I want to go with all this, right? Super creative, <laughs> where you don't have to pay hardly any tax, but you've got to get your entities done. And since you've got three in your complex, and we've got to get partners and operating agreements and signatures, then we, we need to go. Okay. And then we begin. So yes, I will start you on the path. And then you get my cell phone number. What else do you want? Some of that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> You're so cute. All of that stuff? Yeah. Do you have any of that stuff? No. Not no, just, just some of the downloads, but not like. OK, so I'll make a deal. If I give you the game, are you going to make sure your girls play it? Yes. And then will you help me get it into we Mexico to win the in your game. schools? Yeah, oh, that's what I, I just I made that it. deal yeah. up. Yeah, I just made that deal up. That was good, wasn't it? Got, uh, college, uh, well, how come I'm not going down there to teach? Yeah. Okay, so what else? So you want all these items, and what else you want? Are you, like, are you doing this? Are we negotiating for real? Yeah. Or are you thinking about it? No, no. Yeah. Yeah, I really want all that. Okay. I, I want to be a millionaire. No. <laughs> a multimillionaire. Well, you have it in I, here. This is easy. Yeah, I, 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 so like, you're di like you guys are different. Like you could be a millionaire. This, this could be an 18-month, two-year plan. Easy. But like what are you worth today? We, and again, you can, uh, not valuing your Mexican estate that you're getting with your dad. You guys are worth in the United States, what, 250 maybe? 250,000? Isn't that worth Right? Right. But you do this, and you pour it over here. Because if you make this much money, and you do this right, maybe two years, right? Because you got to net out expenses and stuff. Could be two years. You do this right and invest that million, right? Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Do you have your little running shoes on? you got to get out of those flip-flops. Okay, I will. Okay. <laughs> and I do CrossFit, so I like to challenge myself. I know. I just hired a boxing coach. It's killing me. It's awesome. I so are we doing this right now? Yeah. How are you paying for it? Are you paying separate? Twelve I don't five, know, twelve five. <laughs> twelve five, twelve five. Because we're like. So here's what you could do. This business could pay for Amy, and this business could pay for you. Or you figure it out somewhere in between you all. Yeah. Like now. Like now. Yeah. So we're gonna go back there. We're gonna talk to Mike yeah. now. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this stuff back to you now. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, look at that. You guys are a project. That was the funnest makeover ever. All right, so what did you guys learn? I'm going to get your goodies. <laughs>